What's up YouTube and welcome back to another weekly episode. Now today I'm going to be explaining why I've been gone for a while and also why I'm in the car. Well, to start it off with, sorry I've been away for about a month. Uh, I'm not pleased by it and I've just got to pull out of this junction. Can't see. What can I say? Uh, I'm not pleased. I missed creating content. That's why I do it on YouTube because I love creating content. The editing process is by far the funnest part for me. Seeing a piece of footage that you filmed, fairly basic, go to a piece that you really, really enjoy. I thought I had COVID. I know. Uh, last week I was not well. Uh, pretty much the whole of last week, uh, especially last weekend. I was very, very uh, ill. I, in fact, did think I had COVID. It's the first time since COVID's been around, since, God, 2019, that uh, I thought I actually had caught it. Um, my chest was coughing, sore throat, runny nose, feel, felt absolutely knackered. Turns out I didn't. I went and got a test and it come back negative, thank God, which is good. You're probably wondering, why am I in the car how is it hands-free and what is this is it a vlog because you know my, my channel is always based on gaming a lot of reactions to things I like some of my most viewed videos now nearly hitting 5,000 views or reactions um, but back in the day when I was about I don't know 17 18 I've always done YouTube I used to uh, do all sorts of different YouTube channels and one of them was a car vlogging channel just like this. I had a camera mount and uh, used to sit on the window and it wasn't as good as the camera mount I've got now because I didn't earn as much money. So I bought probably the cheapest mount you could get, hence the camera was constantly wobbling. But I, at the time it was almost something new. There was no one really doing it. Um, and I kind of wish that I carried on doing it because who knows where my channel could have been now. But you know, when you're young, you don't stick to stuff. Um, but yeah, basically it was a car vlogging channel. Um, I love cars, as you guys know, and uh, I figured why not put the two together? Uh, vlog in the car. Uh, something different, you get all the motorbike vloggers who do, you know, their, they've got their helmet cam on their motorbike and they've got the microphone. I figured why not do it in the car? Um, you guys get to see the UK with uh, footage of me driving around, because you know, it is different. Um, when you see other countries that's why it's interesting because it's not something that you're used to it's not normal to you this is why we always tend to watch youtubers that aren't the same as us aren't into the same things live in different areas because different is exciting um so yeah i'm i'm hoping to start doing a lot more of these this is my first car vlog on this channel and uh i hope you guys like it please let me know in the comments because obviously what you guys enjoy is also very important, if not the most important. There's no point in me putting content up that you guys don't want to see. The channel's been growing, even though I have been away for a month, this channel's still been growing a lot. Um, the views constantly keep going up, especially on my top videos. And uh, I've been getting quite a few subscribers come out of nowhere recently, so it's given me a little bit of a kick to uh, get back on the YouTube game. And, uh, and start pumping out content for you guys. Um, what's been going on that's important to me at the minute? Formula One. Wow, this season, as you guys know, I love Formula One. There's plenty of Formula One channels, uh, there's plenty of Formula One videos on the channel. And holy crap, this season is ridiculous. Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, what is going on there? Uh, they've got one more race of the season to go, one more, and that's gonna be in Abu Dhabi. And Max Verstappen was leading the championship until the race yesterday. Lewis won, Max come second. Massive controversy in regards to that. Penalties, crashes, it was crazy. So now both drivers are drawing on points. They are completely equal on championship points with only one race to go. So it could go anyway. Now, obviously I'm British from the UK, live in the UK. I should, be, I should be rooting for Lewis, shouldn't I? He's got seven Formula One World Championships and uh, this would be his eighth. So you would think that I would want Lewis to, to take it, wouldn't you? I don't 
really care, you know. Um, Lewis is British. We all know he's the best. He's got the most stats. He's got the biggest, best stats. There's no denying he is the greatest Formula One driver of this current generation, if not all time. So part of me feels like, why does he need another one? Yeah, okay, if he gets the eighth world championship, amazing, he, he beats Michael Schumacher's championship record. But in every other stat and score, he surpassed every person already. So it's kind of like he already is the best. And to be honest, he's brought a lot of politics into Formula One now, and I'm a little bit against that. Uh, I'll be totally honest, I'm a little bit cold with this sort of stuff. I believe in just, it's Formula One. Talk about racing. You know, people are going to Formula One, the sport, because they want to get away from that. It's something they can enjoy. So why bring this into it? And it's very, very, uh, he's very, very involved with that now with the sport. And it just kills it a little bit for me. And also, personally, I lose enjoyment from watching him because he's too serious. Back in the day when you used to watch him, he used to be a laugh, he used to have fun and not take it too seriously, but obviously he's got his entourage around him, everyone thinks he's special, and I do believe he thinks he's above everyone else, even the other drivers. And for example, when you watch the other drivers, especially the younger ones, even the older guys as well that's in there, they're all having a laugh, they all talk together, they play up to the camera, it's brilliant for the sport and for the fans. Is that real sweat? It's real sweat. I'm a high performance athlete. Um, Athletes sweat. Sweat, baby. Kick, kick, kick. Rah. Sweat, sweat. <laughs> Lewis doesn't. He's serious. He's only happy when he gets his way. So, I've got to be honest, I'm rooting for Max this year. Yes, if you are a Formula One fan, you might think Max is aggressive and slightly his racing, uh, his racing etiquette at times isn't good. I'm not going to argue with that there. You know, he, he can be a little bit too aggressive, but at the end of the day, all the Formula One world champions have been aggressive. It's in fact, very aggressive. So, you know, what do you want the bloke to do? You know, he's got to win. He's, he's trying to win. Lewis is one of the best, if not the best of all time. So if he's got to be a bit more aggressive than normal, I think that's fair game. If he gets penalties for it, that's a fair punishment also. Um, so yeah, I do kind of want Max to win. For the for the sport, I believe it will be good. You know, it will bring more people to the sport. Everyone knows Lewis is the best. People who don't even watch Formula One know Lewis is the best. So I think if Max won the championship, it would bring something different to the sport and uh, it would be a bit exciting. The weather is terrible right now. And uh, I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm driving somewhere where I don't actually know. Uh, so I need to turn around in a minute. But yeah, the wipers are on, so if you can hear a noise, apologies for that, but obviously I've got to be able to see somehow. Right, let's go for it. Um, yeah, I do feel a bit tired at the moment. Obviously I work night shift, and that's another thing at the minute. I love, work, I love working nights. Um, it's a great lifestyle for me, and it works really, really well. But when it's winter, the issue with nights is you go to work and it's dark when you come home in the morning at 6 a.m. it's still dark so I'm literally getting no sunlight and I tend to get up about 3 o'clock in the afternoon so by the time I get up there's almost no point in even opening the curtains because it's dark and it's like what's the point so I don't really think I'm getting that much vitamin C and D and all that at the minute which is why I probably look a bit pale and a bit tired. I feel okay. Um, you know, I've been to the gym today and I had a, I had a week off from the gym last week uh, due to being ill. So it was a little bit of a struggle getting back today, but the most important thing is getting your foot through the door and being in there to start yourself back into that routine. Because without the gym routine, uh, I feel a lot worse if I don't go to the gym. So, and that's with most people that go to the gym, you know. Um, they go to the gym not for necessarily even to look good or try and look good. That's a, that's a secondary benefit for me and probably for most people. It's for mentally going to the gym. It gives you a focus. It gives you a reason to get up in the morning. It feels like you're bettering yourself. 
even if you've had a bad day, at least you know you went to the gym. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that anyway. So yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please, please let me know in the comments below what you think. Whether you like this new style of vlogs, especially being a motor vlog. I've really enjoyed filming it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Please leave a like if you've stayed till the end. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers guys. Bye.